Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. In our previous video, we looked at how to deploy a Spring Boot application into EC2 instance and access a DynamoDB database from the Spring Boot application which is deployed into the EC2 instance. By default, the communication between the EC2 instance and the DynamoDB happens over the HTTP protocol. That is, when you make a request in your EC2 instance, it actually goes to the public network public internet and then comes back to the DynamoDB. What if you don't want your request to go out of the Amazon network? Many times there are security concerns and privacy concerns that many customers will not agree to it. So in order to achieve that, we need to use the VPC endpoints for DynamoDB so that your request or your traffic between your VPC does not leave the Amazon network. In this example, let us take a look at how to achieve that using the VPC configurations. You can create this VPC endpoint for DynamoDB either by using the AWS commands directly in your EC2 instance or you can use the AWS console to create this VPC endpoints. I'm going to show you how to create this VPC endpoints in your AWS console. Log into your AWS and scroll down and go to networking and content delivery. Click on your VPC. Scroll down and you'll be able to see something called endpoints. Click on the endpoints. We currently don't have any endpoint here. So let's create one for our DynamoDB. Click on create endpoint and select the service category. It is going to be an AWS service. Scroll down and you should be able to see the DynamoDB endpoint for US East 1 here. Select this and let us leave the default configuration as it is. It is going to be on the default VPC. We don't have to add any route table for this now, for this example. And if you want to change the permissions here, right, you can very well do it. I'm not going to change anything. Just click on create endpoint. The endpoint has been successfully created. Now, let us go back to our EC2 instance and let us verify this. Let us quickly write a command in our EC2 instance to verify this VPC endpoint. Alright, we have only one VPC endpoint. That is the endpoint that we created for DynamoDB. Let us again verify this by accessing the DynamoDB table. All right, we are able to access the DynamoDB table. Now again, you can start the jar file and try to access the application by sending a request. And after that write, I can assure you that the traffic between your EC2 instance and your DynamoDB does not leave the Amazon network by going to the public internet. The entire traffic will now reside inside your Amazon network. Now the private and security concerns about sending and receiving data across the public internet has been addressed with the help of the VPC endpoints. With this, we come to the conclusion of this video. Please subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.